as the youth, we hold the most power with regards to educating others, empowering others, as well as voting for the change we want to see. So again, just think about how you want to impact your own community and think about how you can initiate a change. It's the little things, you know. We always think that it's the huge, great gestures that change the world, but it's the consistent acts of kindness every single day. Those are the things that are going to change the world. It was Sankara who said that our revolution is not a public speaking tournament. Our revolution is not a battle of fine phrases. Our revolution is not simply for sprouting slogans that are no more than signals used by manipulators trying to use them as catchwords, as code words, as a foil for their own display. Our revolution is and should continue to be the collective effort of revolutionaries to transform reality, to improve the concrete situation of the masses of our country. Democracy. What we do has to expand. It has to touch other people's lives. It has to make an impact in other people's lives. I mean, she put a smile on all our faces here just by demonstrating her passion and her love for poetry. <laughs> Youth culture and participation has the power to transform the entire societies. A society where fellow men come together, regardless of race, religion, culture, and age, discussing and respecting each person's views and opinions, where our youth is involved in decision-making and law-making. By minimizing government bureaucracy, we'll give individuals and youth a chance to shape economic decisions and economic outcomes. Limiting the state intervention allows young people access to the market through entrepreneurship. <laughs> that was very unexpected, but I think what was interesting about your, um, your, your start is that you spoke about the concept of bottom-up leadership. Now, Fasia and I have been part of that thing during Christmas 4, and it has the ability to collapse simply because there is no center that holds it all together. We do have all these discussions, but zero action. And if the action is implemented by the youth, it seems we are being aggressive. I feel like today we saw much more how powerful the young people of South Africa are. Um, and that um, the future is quite bright. The young people are ready to lead and I feel more opportunities should be granted to them. I quote Kanye West, listen to the kids. That's it, nothing more. Listen to the kids. Thank you. Being in this space on its own, I think it ignites within oneself a sense of responsibility and importantly, it makes me feel like I am part of the idea that he died for, that he was willing to die for, the, die, the idea that he lived for and he was willing to die for. I, I'm even reiterating because that is for, for me, the, the emphasis on its own carries a lot of weight that elevates one's mind and one's spirit.